Hello, ladies and gents. I'm the Rev, and this is Starpoint Gemini Warlords, the conquest strategy guide. And they have done a couple of things real quick here updates in between the last episode I put out and this one. And of course, as always, you want to go to forums because they have a section solely dedicated to the current updates just a couple of little small ones here but something you guys will definitely want to check out is you'll see we've got different types of repair drones now and it gives you know the repairs uh, 7500 so if your hole is 7500 it will do that in 500 seconds yada yada heavy repair which is, I bought a few of those just in case. And you can see we've got shield boosters as well. So, we put a few in. Hopefully, they're going to be putting in all the fun stuff and maybe a little bit more extra. I can't wait till the Seths come back. If you guys played Starpoint Gemini 2, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, that was really, you know, that was one thing. Um, they did some changes to the camera angles. They put in a little thing with your fleet now. Um, you can send your fleet, or you can meet up, I should say, with your fleet, and you can take it on jobs boards. And we'll see if there's one in here currently. So this is what normally you would do. Installation assault by yourself. You fly into the center of it. You blow up the station. Well, I've seen missions that are over two million instead of seven hundred thousand and it basically uh you know you fly in there and it's got maybe twice the ships so you take a small fleet in there with you you can accomplish the mission and it looks like you can pretty much do that on everything on any of the missions anything you want to fly around with you can hook your fleet up to fly around with you Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to talk to you real quick about the battleship that I'm flying. Now, one of the cool things is, first and foremost, I've got uh, a wing of five, 40 average damage per fighter, and then a nice upgrade, and we'll do an enhancements next. But I want to show you, we've got the Severance twos. Now, the fun part is that it takes five turrets on each one, so we've got 20 turrets here. They don't make you pay for one of the turrets, so that means 16 turrets, and they are 105,000 credits each. Something to keep in mind. And then, of course, we've got the Requiem, and I've only got one because it's 3.5 million. I'd like to buy another ship. And then Ion, Singularity, Singularity. Cool thing about the Requiem, too, is the reload speed isn't very long. You can actually sit there, tap that button, as long as it's within range, and light stuff up, as long as it's not too close. And, of course, Synthes on all of the real guns, which, of course, are my favorite. And then the Cronus 3 on the heavy weapons. We have our Austria, our special one here. And then the Blink, Maxima 2, which was 4 million, ow. And then we have our Halo 1 again, because, man, that next bump, oh, is it's a lot of money. It's like 20, 000, uh, 20 million credits, Sensor Max 2, just because I want the Sensor Radius. Then just grapple range and protection from Havoc Kicks. And the Han, which buffs up my... I wish it showed that better. You can see here, it improves just about everything. And again, we can buy another one of those, but they really get expensive. But we're getting to the point where money's not really going to be that big of a deal. So, anytime you come across a wormhole and you own the territory, you can build your own T gate. All right, there we go. That's close enough. So, into your research down here to infrastructure and it is the hyperspace torrent gate right there and the price I think if I remember correctly is it's 5,000 each of the 
resources. So once you've got this done, and I wanted to do that first because it does not take long, we go to our star chart, click on the wormhole, and you can see here a thousand of the ore, a thousand of gas, and three thousand materials. So we do that, and dun, 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 it is built. So I'm sure it will take a little bit of time. Once the game gets in to later production, you know, it'll take time to build this. You just can't instantly build a gate. But as we get nice and close here, should be able to dock. There we go. And now, just like in Starpoint Gemini 2, the T gates, you can go to various places wherever the hell you want. Now, they did do it a little different in. The previous game there were lines connecting everything this one they're not doing that but that's okay and not all of the gates are functional which is something else that is coming in an update Ooh, for instance right here it says inactive so in an upcoming update we'll be able to um, make that ours so that, you know, again, we can use it for trade and other kinds of things. It's a great way to get around as we continue our domination as we come down here. Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to dominate this whole side over here to begin with. It will give us easy access. It also gives us great access to different types of ships. Because there's a lot more than just what is in the current your current space station and on Concordia. Alrighty, folks, so to give you guys a real easy way to get your fleets together, I thought I'd do this a little bit here so you can see, you can see these guys down here. Well, all I did was I have two little baby fleets here. And I just take and tell them to come to me. So the second one will be flying over. So that means this first one... And you can see them now. Now we gotta make sure, because they are still two separate fleets, that we tell them to follow us each differently. So they should start following us now. And we'll go over here to our other fleet. There we go. And they should start following us now. So we can just Affirmative. Someone. Hit the juice. Now, something to definitely keep in mind. And you can see they are all with me now. And you always want to make sure you double check when you leave a planet. I didn't. But real easy. You just click. Tell them to follow you. Start to go. If they don't follow, stop and get them. It means the command didn't get relayed. Again, could be a bug, no biggie. So we're just flying around. So now, let's get our fleet on. So some of the fun things you can do, if you have a fun and nice sized fleet. Ooh, I have 10 frigates. Well, my 10 frigates are gonna hunt those SOBs down because I, and those are the two that are with me, no, I am curious, man ships now. Is it gonna have that other one? See, it creates another one. Now I've got two fleets right next to each other. That other fleet should be here. Hopefully they will fix that, I'm sure they will. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take us and we're gonna go this way. I hope they put in a good sound effect. territory there we are and you can see our fleet yes she is they are behind us and there's the other fleet that's the fleet that's with us oh yeah well maybe pay for squat deadly y'all dead hello hello goodbye hello we are going to watch as you guys should go take that fleet out. And let's see how far are these guys. Oh, they're coming right to us. Good. Anyways, you can see my crazy fleet of, 
fleet of frigates here. No problem, reputation changes of course. Now that we own this area, the first thing we're going to want to do, and you're going to want to do when you come down this way, is get all of your gas going. And I should have enough to upgrade everything down here. And unfortunately we can't turn this one on. It would be helpful if we could, but we can't. All right, so we will separate ourselves. We're going to go take this. Affirmative. Engage sublight. HQ reports. One of our fleets have returned. As you can see, we pulled off just our little group. Oh, looks like one of our guys might have died. Sensors are reading high radiation around us. So now we'll take this fleet. Revs Reapers. That's my tin. And uh, you know what? We'll send them down there. And we'll see how they do by themselves. Although we should probably look. One destroyer, two corvette, one gunship. They should be handled that. I would think tin frigates should be able to handle that. Alrighty, folks. And as you can see, my guys just pulled back. My fleet did. I'm in stealth mode in my battleship, just so I can sneak up and kill. Again, this is uh, definitely overkill, because these guys should really just don't have much to fight me. And they're running. Uh, not for long. Alright, so, are you guys going to get involved now? Now here's an interesting question, and something I did want to see, if I could... No, it doesn't have the repair. So, as you're going through, and you're having that ever so fun are too high. combat, your ships can and will get blown up. And that's the other thing about this area. You can see right here, we've got this symbol, that means our... Right here, our hull is being damaged. Well, all right, let's kill these guys real quick. Fighter squadrons, you're good to go. Whoa, dude, really? There's not much fight left in us. Target destroyed. Look at that, they went right after my fleet. I Not killed their captain and then... Someone. So we'll just zip on over here. you can see down here our guys are fighting our ship is not going to be doing so hot so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to zoom all the way over here first as always make sure we get these guys cranking and we've got two more of that gas now which is awesome should really start cranking here so we got 430 255 425 so obviously gas is going to start cranking like that. We need to get this one up. And some of that of course will be picking areas like wiping this one, which we're going to do in this episode. We're going to take this fleet on. So hold on, we'll be right back. Alrighty folks, so I made it to the station. We are in one piece. And check this out. It completely auto-resolved the whole area. This is now ours. And we need to of course upgrade that. And what did we lose? Five. Oh, we've only got five frigates left. Wow. All right. So the next goal, of course, is going to be here. 
Manual targeting is in need. Easy peasy. Looks like they had a little trouble though with that other one, and it's my area. And look, we have another fleet, so we're gonna go kill that fleet. All right. So one thing to do a quick check here. Let's see now. It doesn't appear that they are repairing themselves, and I can't repair them either. So I'm sure that, of course, will be. One of these fleets is not like the other. Okay. Now you children follow me. And... I should have a nice big fleet now, as you can see. Got a nice big fleet following me, so what me and my fleet are gonna do is that's the goal. Alright, folks, I use my T gate to get here. I think it's about to get real nasty. Ooh! I'm gonna be fighting stuff as big if not bigger. Well, that's good. I don't need no fleet. I can take this whole group on by myself. I don't know. That thing is huge. Whatever it is. There's my fleet. Let's fire everything we've got. Use that Requiem. Let's see. Let's use some of our fun toys. Focus fire on there. Later on, big boy. Damn, that was fun. So there we go. We did all of our fun fleet commands, showed you guys the stuff about the T-Gates. Only thing we haven't talked about is the Gladiatrix. And you'll notice there are actually multiple ones in different areas. There's one up here. And there's one right here I'm heading towards now because, well, I haven't decided if I'm going to do an actual strategy guide on it or if I'm just going to have fun with it. Maybe do something like a monster truck rally. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. As always, please support these developers. Like, favorite, and subscribe. I'm the Rev. Keep your heads down. Your fleet's up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.